Hey guys, this is Mark with iApple Tech 128, and today we are going to be checking out Cloud Magic for the Mac. Now, this was a really popular app on iOS. It works on the iPad, iPhone, and even Apple Watch, but now they brought it to the Mac, and we're going to be checking it out in this video. So, this is the main interface of the app. Um, it kind of is a replacement for Apple's Mail app. It works way better, it looks a lot nicer. You can use all of your email addresses in this app. In fact, as you can see right here, these are all of the different um, services that you can use, which is pretty much every single thing, including IMAP if you have a work email address. Um, now, this is the main interface. I have my combined inbox right now, just so you can see every single type. We can also color code them on the side right here, so you can tell which inbox or email address it's from. On the side right here, we do have a list of your inboxes right here. And if we click to expand one, we have some nice animations. It's a very beautiful app. You have our inbox, start, important, sent mail, drafts, outbox, all mail, spam, trash, and then different folders based on what you do um, or what you already, based on what you already have. And I really like all in boxes because you can do the color coding so you do know which one it is from. So if I go ahead and hover over an email address such a, and if I go ahead and hover over an email such as one from Amazon, I can go ahead and select it and then that will allow me to perform different actions at the top. Or we can just click the trash button, archive it. We can also create a message from it and star it. If we expand it, you can see this is what the email looks like. We have our different reply options. We have move, delete, archive, all this other stuff right here. We can also move between emails and compose up here. But this works really nicely. I did find compared to AirMail, which I did use previously, it doesn't pull in emails as quickly. I usually get them first on my Apple Watch, then my computer just a couple seconds afterwards where it may have been like a minute after. So as for Google, which I mainly use for email, I don't get them as quickly. Sometimes I get them instantly as my Apple Watch. Other times, not really. But it really depends on what you're using. I notice it is giving me push notifications for, for IMAP, which is a problem that I've had with many other services. Even when the app is not running completely quit, it will still give me push notifications, which is really nice as well. Airmail doesn't do that. And it still keeps a badge count of your unread email accounts, even when you quit the app, which is again, another nice feature about this. For $20, it is a little bit expensive, but it's really meant to be an Airmail, an Apple Mail competitor. And I think this is doing a really great job of it. But that's gonna be for this video. If you guys have any questions about the app or want to learn any more, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also like if you liked it. That's gonna do me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet and have a great day.